So after the success of both your first two albums, you guys took a break. What's going on during that time? Um, you know, when you start to make money for a corporation and, and business, you got to understand, record company is a business at the end of the day. Right. So we were on EM, we were on WIA system, the Warner Electra Atlanta, Atlantic um, system with Laws of the Underground and Pendulum Records. Pendulum was doing a new deal with EMI. Mm -hmm. So that EMI deal had to get restructured. Uh, and when that started to get restructured, we started to become woke. We started to become a little aware, business savvy. And, and no disrespect to Ruben and Pendulum Records because that's still my guy to this day. And no disrespect to anybody from management or anybody that was doing business with Laws of the Underground. But third album, we're young adults now. You know, we're 25, 26, 27 years old. And when you, the way that you deal with a 25 to 27 year old is different how you deal with a, eight, a 17 to 19 year old. Because these were all our ages at the time we signed. So we can't accept and do the same things that we've learned that a 17, 18, 19 year old would accept. A 25 to 27 year old is not gonna, you have to deal with them differently and deal right. with them accordingly. So I think that was the process of, of things that makes it wait, and that's the business. And sometimes the fans suffer from that because right. they say, well, where's the music? Oh, they fell off or this. And it's just about understanding what you're into and, and getting your business right. Okay. So what made you come back after a five-year hiatus to record your next album? Well, it, it's just, it was just time. You know, we, we felt like we, you know, we let the business, let the, we let the game down because of the business. Mm -hmm. And um, we had to find a new deal. And, you know, then we, we got with Queen Latifah and Shaquem and Deidre Tate over at Flavor Unit Records, but we, we signed on with DJ Tate, who was president of Jersey Kids, but that was still Flavor Unit. And you know, we were just trying to um, do the hip hop that we know how to do without having that corporation um, direct your thoughts, thinking you're still this teenager. Mm -hmm. And I believe Latifah and Shaquem and DJ Tate have allowed us to do that. So. You know, it was just a, it was just, we love hip hop, man. We're going to always be, I know I'm going to always be hip hop. Right. Hip hop, you know, in everything that I do, I'm going to bring the culture in it. And I think that's with all hip hoppers from, I don't care if you're a mumble rapper to uh, a boom bap rapper, we need to implement our culture in everything that we, we do. And that, that doesn't mean just rapping, DJing and dancing and, and it means everything. Right. You were a part of one of the greatest parts of uh, hip hop ever, the golden era. Oh man, that was um, a great time, man. You've had a lot of guys from your area, and at the same time, Artifacts. Uh, Shout out to Artifacts, man. Naughty by Nature, Red Shout Man. Out to Shout out to Reggie, man. What do you remember most about that time in well, hip hop? At that time in hip hop, what, what I think people don't acknowledge a lot, I was just on a breakfast club with, in, with um, Charlemagne and Angela Yee and, and um, Envy, mm -hmm. and, and and Charlemagne said when we started naming all of the artists from Jersey who were rocking, he was like, "Whoa, why did somebody do a documentary? Or why did somebody talk about this?" And I think that we get lost. New Jersey gets lost, and I don't understand why though. Right. But we get lost when you talk. I think that people automatically puts Newark, New Jersey, because it's North Jersey automatically put it in a class with New York City. Where are you originally from? Indiana. And what, what, what Naptown? Uh, 30 minutes from Naptown. But if you were talking to somebody, would you say you're from Naptown? No. Where are you from? Anderson. You would say I'm from Anderson, right? Right. right. So now if somebody said you was from Naptown. to get offended. Right. So you understand where I'm coming from. Right. So when people say Newark, New Jersey, and they go, oh, that's New York. Right. <laughs> and there's no disrespect to New York. Because right. I mean, I got some of the homies that have smacked the mess out of you right. probably from New York. You know what I mean? Right. But no disrespect to me. But we are not from there. If you told somebody from Brooklyn, oh, that's Queens. they will be like, no, I'm, this is the BK. This, and right. that's the only thing that we were saying. Every time you talked about Newark and hip hop, people would go, oh, that's New York. That's, that's the New York type. No. Right. We Brick City. We're totally different. Right. And we were just fighting for our respect. 
fighting for us to be recognized for who we are. So to answer your question, when you talk about the 90s, how can you not talk about Newark, New Jersey specifically, or Jersey specifically, the greatest in hip hop in the 90s? Because when you talk about the golden era, you have to mention and, and, and stipulate and focus on New Jersey. Why? Red Man, Naughty by Nature, the Fugees, ah. Lauren, Wyclef, and Pros. Right. Lords of the Underground. Right. Rod Digger. Lakim Shabazz. YZ. Wise Intelligent. <laughs> you know what I mean? Poor Righteous uh, Teachers. Poor right. Righteous teachers. Right. So the list goes on and on and on from Queen Latifah to Apache uh, to Artifacts to the Outsiders. Outsiders. And the Outlaws down with Tupac. Yeah. Except one. Right. And the Outlaws. People forget that they Just from Jersey. Just because they went to Cali doesn't mean they... They from Jersey. Jersey. They right. yell at all in their music. Right. So, I mean, you got, you got twin hype. I forgot about them <laughs> twins. Yeah, you got, I mean, it was on profile. Yes, yeah, man. You yeah. got um, King Sun. King Sun. You got DJ Cheese, one of the first DMC winners. The first DMC DJ battle winner. Um, it's just the list goes on and on, man. And if I forgot anybody, please just blame it <laughs> on my memory, not not my heart. Right. You know, but so many different people. So when you talk about that, though, listen to the names I said and and those people. Naughty by Nature, Lords of the Underground, Rock Digger, Outsiders, Artifacts, Red Man, Queen Latifah, Apache, all of these were banging in the 90s. Facts. Fuji's. Right. I'm talking about multi-platinum success, not just some fly-by-night groups. So if you look at that, our track record says it. The facts says it. You fact check. That if, if you consider that, if we had... If we had all of that, then you have to consider Newark, New Jersey being one of the best cities or, or New Jersey being one of the best states in hip-hop doing what you call the best in hip-hop. So if, if we're the best state in hip-hop doing the best time of hip-hop, why are you not saying that some of our groups are the best in hip-hop? Right. I mean, if, if you're going to do all of that, that's how they calculate numbers and they come, come up with the brackets and right. all that type of stuff. Right. So why are we not mentioned when it comes to that and we're the biggest, some of the biggest selling artists? And even when you look at uh, top rappers or top artists from Biggie to Eminem to uh, uh, everybody saying that they got their style from either a Tretch a red man, or hell, a Lords of the Underground for that matter. Mm -hmm. Nobody was wearing braids and bandanas like me when I was doing <laughs> it. I mean, shout out to Santana with Dipset. He right. came out after it and got funky with the bandana. Right. But before him, it was me. Right. You know, um, Outkast, shout out to Outkast. But Dre walked up to me in LA one time and said, you know why I do some of the crazy stuff that I do? Because when I saw you with that diaper on and funky child, I knew I could do whatever I wanted to do in hip hop. Dope. So you're talking about inspiration coming a lot from Jersey artists. All we want to do is say when, when you speak about that golden era, when you speak about hip hop, you got to mention Jersey. You got to mention the Lords, not just a Red Man, not just a Queen Latifah, not just a Fuji because of the mega success. But you got to mention artifacts. You got to mention Lords of the Underground. You got to mention the outsiders. You got to mention people like that. YZ, Wise Intelligent, Poor Righteous Teachers. You got to mention people like that. And um, even Big Lou, you know, down mm -hmm. in Camden. Shout out to Big Lou. There's so many dope dudes. And now you have people like Arsenal, you know, on Underground Freestyle and Tip. You have people like Fetty Wap, you mm -hmm. know, you have people like SZA. You know, and um, I didn't even mention Whitney Houston. I thought that would have been too much since we tell about hip hop. <laughs> but um, you know, you have so many, so a lot of people, man, doing their things from Jersey, man. And we just want to want people to understand, understand, and recognize that we've been putting on for not just New Jersey or, or Newark, New Jersey, but the, the whole culture of hip hop. Definitely.